Hey everybody, it is I4 because you know down new and I would like to welcome you once again back to Indie Bites. It is November the 13th, it is insanely cold outside, and our first game for the day is Blaze Rush by Tar Jim Games. This is, if I were to describe it in a word, a, a kind of different Mario Kart. Uh, it's a, it's an isometric view racing game with items. It's, it's, it's really weird. We're just gonna throw this together. There are three game modes. I wish that there were more, but there are three game modes. There's race, which is, you know, like the normal race. There's king of the hill, which is whoever's in front gains points. And then there's death race, which I think is my, my favorite way to play the game. Uh, you can play online. You can do local co-op, I believe. And it, it, it fills up the game with bots. We're gonna go ahead and have a full a full game here. Max players, can I raise that? No, I guess max is eight. Okay, and no online players. And let's go ahead and start the game. So you choose ev between matches. Everybody like votes to choose what they want to do next on what map. It'll tell you how long it is. Uh, that's the number next to it, and. It'll tell you what modifiers it has. We're gonna go ahead and jump into Death Race because this is this is my favorite one. There's a slew of characters. Every car goes the same speed, but they accelerate at different rates. And and everybody's it's it's pretty balanced, I would say. Uh, this car is my favorite though because he's got sick underglow. So you hop in, and the controls feel a little bit weird at first, but they work out pretty well. You just move with the controller, uh, with, with the stick with the controller, obviously, duh. You use the left analog stick, or I would assume the, the mouse. Oh, I died. So now you guys get to watch this. Uh, you use the left analog stick on the controller to move in the direction that you're pointing. There are weapons and stuff that spawn all over the track. It's it's really, really chaotic, and it's kind of hard to follow, but it is insanely fun. Uh, this mode is Death Race. You, when, you, when you die, you are out, and you can be killed by just falling off the track, kind of like I just did, by getting smacked by weapons or by running into... That thing, that horrifying thing that you see in the at the at the very end. Now I do feel that at times I, I'm not sure if it actually does this, but I believe it will speed up sometimes. That may have just been some internet lag from when I was playing uh, with Matt. But all in all, it, it feels really fun. There's a lot of challenging things. The items are really fun. There's not a lot of them. I definitely feel like there could be more. But it, it works, you know? Uh, there could be more tracks, there could be more game modes. But for what it is, it's definitely enjoyable. And I don't want to... No boost! Oh my god, no, I don't want to die! Ah. It's, it's definitely tied. died, okay. It's tough. It's, it's really, really fun, though. Um, yeah. What's, what's happening here? Okay, I guess that was the end of that. Uh, one of the bots won because I'm terrible. Uh, there, I also like, um, I, I love the bot names. Uh, Just a bot got first. I feel really great about that. And Sir Lance a bot is in here. And I love the uh, titles that they give you. Most dangerous, the fastest, most prudent. It's, it's pretty cool. And there are medals and stuff like that that you can earn at the end of every match. And now we're going to go ahead and just uh, just show you a King of the Hill match. A race is just normal race. Let's go ahead and give Rex a shot. He's ridiculously quick for some reason. It's such a big thing. Must be all those thrusters. Bam, right off, right at the front. Come on then. What are you, what are you guys going to do? So all, all I need to do is focus on staying in front and it's it's harder than it sounds since like I said earlier all cars actually go the same speed they have the same top speed they just oh come on they just accelerate at different rates you really have to rely on paying super close attention to your turns and in saving that booster for just the right moment there are also some surprisingly lethal weapons in this game. Like that missile, if it's a direct hit, it'll it'll kill him. 
Uh, there are three different kinds of boosters, and they all feel really different. One lasts a while, but it's actually the slowest. One uh, doesn't last very long at all, but it's super, it's super duper quick, and that's that fan that I just used. And then there's another one that's kind of in between them, and I kicked the bucket. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need to. We don't need to go the. Oh, I'm actually still in first in terms of points. Uh, give me this. I feel like sometimes things don't quite do what they should. Um, when, you, when you tell an item to shoot, it won't shoot, or it won't pick it up when you run into it, as it as it really should. Um, but that's those are really the only problems that I've seen with this game. The music is good. The controls are different but intuitive. You you only use like two buttons. Oh, we're gonna win. I just need to get to 40 points, so we just need that booster, and we go fast. Oh, not that fast, though. Come on. Come on, I gotta get... I gotta get... I gotta get my points. The weapons are also very, very, very fun to use. That guy almost got me. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, no! I almost won! I haven't... <laughs> I, I played this for a couple hours with some friends, and I haven't actually won a game yet. I did, I did pretty poorly. Uh, so I really, I'm really eking to win this. I gotta get it. I got it. It's for my, for my honor. Oh, man. Let's see where we are. We are at the back of the pack. Missed that booster. Got a, got a sticky goop goop though. We can uh, shoot this at somebody. Or if we miss just like I did and it stays on the track, it, it sort of keeps itself as a kind of mine. And I just gotta keep it for a few more seconds. Oh crap. Criminy! Chimney Cricket, this is ridiculous. Come here, you you are you are absolutely going to eat my wubs. And I got a boost. This is the boost I was telling you about. It's the slowest boost, but it actually... I I, I think I like the most because it's easiest to maintain control, and that did it! Woo! I am proud of myself for that. It felt good, and I won. And on that note, we're gonna move on to the next game. All right, our second game for the day is Depth by the Depth Team. This is Sharks vs. Divers, the multiplayer video game. It is awesome. It is a boatload of fun, and we are going to get into it, and we are going to be sharks, and we are going to start a server. So the purpose of this game, the purpose of the game, so the goals behind this game, the divers want to get the treasure. The sharks don't want the divers to get the treasure. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the treasure belongs to the sharks. We're gonna go with that. And that's the game. It's it's essentially deathmatch with some objectives in it. It would be cool if there were more game modes, but there aren't. They should add more, definitely. So as you play, this is the same for sharks and divers, kind of. Um, for sharks, as you play, as you kill, you get points, and you come in here and use these points to buy upgrades. They range from be able to tell what kind of equipment somebody has, uh, locate where divers are, eat a diver when you kill them to get more health, you know, have a hammerhead, be hangry, and it, it straight up ignore pain. I always start with hydroacoustics though, because it lets you see where divers are when they're near you. It's, it's very, very handy. So there are Two sharks, four divers. That's always how it is. You can't change the ratio. You can't change the balance, which is it's a little lame, honestly. But my goodness, is this fun. It forces the sharks to, like, sharks do a lot of damage, and they're quick, but they're not very tough. So as a shark, you can, you can do a little short-ranged attack, which uses up your stamina, that yellow bar, or you can do a charge, which uses up more stamina, and you can sprint. And the, the whole time, you really just... You need to be... Well, he's not being careful at all. Ah, yeah! 
there we go all right so that's that's it that's the best tactic as a shark you want to get in as a short shark you want to get in and you and, and get out then now we're kind of low on health so we're gonna find there he is this little pink guy here magenta <laughs> seal ah eaten and now my health is back up it's fantastic <laughs> So when you got something in your jaws of death, wiggle your mouse around and you'll kill him faster. It's it's kind of it's kind of cute. Let's see. Do we have a door? See the thing you like you have to be quick, but you have to also be careful. Because if you're not, you die. You die very fast. But I got the assist on that. So I'm not too upset, and we got a point, so now we can tell what kind of gear to have, which honestly, I it hasn't ever come in handy for me. We're going to see if we can get one more kill, and then we're going to hop over so I can show you guys the diver side, which is very different. Um, as a shark, we can see all this stuff because, you know, we're evolved to, to see underwater like this, and I'm not just talking about that upgrade that I got. Ah, get him! I, I damaged him, though. I'm happy about this. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch to Diver so that you guys can see what I mean. So we are on the Diver team now, and this is actually, I think this is my favorite map. This is crude. It's awesome. It's murky. It's disgusting. As a Diver, you kill sharks, and you pick up loot to make the fat monies. And you use that to determine your loadout. You buy various weapons. You have your regular pistol, pistol that shoots tagging rounds, dual pistols, Net gun, uh, underwater rifle, spear gun, harpoon gun, better underwater rifle. You can have two! And you get a consumable. Flare, sonar, buoy, and a seaman. I like the sonar buoy. The bots typically have plenty of flares. And then you ready up and you wait 10 seconds! Woo! Yeah! Yay! Okay. So when I said that it was different, I meant it was different. You can't see a dang thing. I can. I you you really can't. You cannot see a lot. Even when you get in there and you turn on your flashlight, mm -mm, can't see a lot. And it only gets darker. Like we go down there. We're not going to right now because it's it's spooky. It's spooky down there. I love how large these maps are too and how easy it is to get like lost in them. Oh shit. I heard that. Oh, he's near me. Oh! See, oh god, see out in open water, you're screwed. You don't want to be out there. Oh, shark! Shark, 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 shark! Oh, shot him in the face. Now you see what I mean? Do you understand what I was saying now? <laughs> uh, so after the... I picked up some treasure, and after you do that, you come over to Steve, and you throw it at him. And then you, you have that money. So now when I respawn, I'm going to have that little extra bit of money. But oh goodness, oh gracious, is this horrifying. Now as a diver, you can tell when there are sharks nearby. One, because people will be dying. And two, because your heartbeat goes up. Hey, best friends forever. I, you know, I, I don't know if um, my recording software picks up, picks that up, but we will, we will assume it does. I got a little, I'm, I'm making my way towards an achievement, almost there. This this is pretty much it. Now, as, as we go down, it actually gets much, much creepier. Okay, so cool. We got that one. Oh! When it, what I really like is that when a shark gets you as a diver, you still have a chance to kill them. Let's see. Can I get... I can do a wield, which is better than nothing, I suppose. And you can choose your respawn station. So you can respawn at Steve or back at the base. And generally, it... It's best to just spawn at Steve, I find. Shark? Where? Ugh. Oh, there he is. Yeah! Oh, God! Woo, double kill! I'm the best! Okay. And that's, that's pretty much it. Now, it does feel like at times 
the divers can be a bit too strong for the sharks, but I, I guess that, like, it really just... You just gotta be more careful. There he is. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! 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 Hey, no! Oh, all my friends are dying! Hmm. Okay, so that's... That is all the time we have for this game. We need to move on. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down the buoy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. I don't know if this helps us. Helps them, but I assume it lets us see a little bit farther. Anyways, let's move on to the next game. Our third and final game for the day is Mini Metro by Dino Polo Club. This is an awesome subway simulator it's fantastic we're gonna go ahead and hop into this so there are right now it's it is currently in like a very early beta um so it's not feature complete as you've noticed there aren't any sounds they are working on that though and they've said that they're very excited for that right now though you have two game modes and a whole bunch of maps um there's commuter which is uh if, if a station starts getting overcrowded, then there will be a timer, and if that timer runs out, uh, you lose, and they shut down everything. And then there's Scenic, which is sort of just like a zen mode, where you just, you deliver a certain amount of people, deliver, <laughs> you transport a certain amount of people every week, and then you get an upgrade. Woo! We're going to go ahead and do Commuter. And you can choose various different places, like London, Paris, New York, Hong Kong... All these, all these really cool places. And you hop in, and bam, here you are. So how this works, that square right there wants to get to his square station. So we click and we drag, and bam, we now have a line running from this place to that place. Oh no, oh no, I should have, I should have done that differently. <laughs> Once you have a line down like this, you can grab the end and drag and drop them. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. It is beautiful. So we got him here. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just complete the circle, I guess. Boom. And as as you go, more and more stations will keep popping up, as you've no doubt noticed. Let's see. I can actually. Hmm. Let me pop this open and lock it. So down here you can see how many trains I have. Now, if it, it, a line takes up a train, if you don't actually have a line, or if you don't actually have a train, then nothing will be running on a line. So you need to keep that in mind. But you can just kind of go, oh, look, I got it. Yay. Yeah, just like that. It's, it's very easy peasy. And this 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 is the game. It's it's relaxing. It's it's really easy, really easy to get sucked into. Uh, and it it gets pretty chaotic. But let's say that everything's everything's going crazy. You've got you've got stations everywhere. You got you got all these all these damn problems that you just you can't solve, right? Everything's everything's crazy. Oh no! Let me put you over here. I'll put you put you over here. There we go. Everything's crazy. Oh my goodness. What do we do? You can pause the game and You can make adjustments in and everything right in here It's 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 great now Let's say I just totally want to start over because everything's crazy you can select all of your color and just get rid of it and Any trains that are running on those lines like you can see these faded out lines here like the red and the blue any trains that are still running will finish that path before going under the new path Let's go ahead and just get a nice little all-encompassing train right here. Since we've only got one more tunnel, we need to be kind of careful. We will go like this, and then we will have the blue running this small section here. And then we'll unpause, and it'll go. Those trains will finish up what they're doing. And then they will pop back into business. And that's it. That's that's the game. It is a ton of fun. It's really easy to get sucked into. I think I dropped... I, I, I must I must have played uh, Scenic for like 
two hours last night and then just a bunch of this. Um, it's a boatload of fun. It's super easy to get sucked into, and I highly recommend you check it out. We got an upgrade. Yeah, so we got a new look. We got a locomotive, and then do so. I got a new, I got a new uh, train head, and now I can get another line or another carriage. Now we don't have a lot of stations to get to right now, so we're gonna get another carriage, and then we will actually expand this line a little bit, and we will throw our locomotive onto it this way. And we will give red another car. Blue doesn't need anything yet because blue is super small. Oh no. Da, da, da. This this is the one thing. Uh, you do have to like back out a lot. And it, getting a getting a track to go the way you want it to is kind of it's it's a little ridiculous. But that's just me because I like to keep everything laid out nice and neat, you know? Oh, wait, we can just have the red line run right there. Straight through town. Fantastic. All right. That is all the time that I have for this episode. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you have any games to recommend to me to check out for anybody, you can leave a comment below or you can shoot me a tweet on the Twitter sphere. All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. For the love of games! games.